Running fast from the way it was Jump quick to a paycheck Running back to the strip club I'm never going back, never going back No, you can't make Happy Monday and welcome back to Jenny's Random. Happy Monday. I am headed in to the office and it is cold. It's not as cold <laughs> as it was over the weekend, but it's still pretty chilly. I think it's like 23 degrees out here. I just stopped, got an uh, egg white omelet because I'm very hungry. On the days I work, I don't know, I, I get nervous, <laughs> so I forget to eat. Uh, luckily, the office has coffee, so I'm good on that. But I, I did grab a bite. I'm a little early, uh, as I always am. Our meeting starts at 10, it's like 8.40. So I'm gonna sit, eat, get myself mentally prepared for the meeting. Um, I'm gonna start at nine though because I want to do some filing in the office. And yeah, that's it. Hopefully everybody is coming off of a good weekend just like I am. <laughs> Very relaxed and I didn't do much. Just was lazy. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Oh wait, it's free and it's fun here. And if you're not new here, hey gang, and welcome back. <laughs> oh my God, I'm very low key because I'm a little nervous about this meeting. Uh, they're gonna go over my deadlines, see what I hit, what I missed last week. So we'll see how it goes. All right, let's head in. Howdy gang, I'm back home. It is, what time is it? 1.35. So it worked from uh, 9 a.m. until about 12.30, 12.40. Productive business meeting. Ooh. <laughs> not really I have energy I'm hungry I tell you that because all I had was that um, that what do you call it that that omelet that egg white omelet so I'm hungry I'm trying to rig y'all up this way is it working it is <laughs> in my bedroom uh, is it messy Eh, a little junky. So I, we had the meeting, we discussed me taking on a little more responsibility um, when it comes to, when it comes to um, helping them with tenant management. So seeing that my business already contracts with them to do, um, be the head of leasing 
it's only natural for me to take over some sort of like tenant communication as far as moving in moving out that kind of thing so i am gonna take that on i don't know make sure y'all can't see my bonkers <laughs> i'm gonna take that on i don't know yet what that's gonna look like um because we still have to discuss the details. I mean, we did discuss the details and I have access to the policy and procedure for doing that. But, um, you know, now I'm going to be in the loop when they get these communications as far as uh, tenants, moving, tenants moving out, seeing how the company could get in do an assessment of the apartment for turnover and see if they are entitled to a security de deposit back all the boring stuff business update sorry <laughs> so yeah we could do a little business update um you guys know i ended the year last year very strong and January is already proving to be pretty profitable and I'm excited about that let me tell you because it, it gets it gets nerve-wracking knowing uh if you're gonna make if you're gonna make money I'm trying to find some sweatpants I'm gonna leave the sweatshirt on um it gets pretty nerve-wracking to see or to know if you're gonna be Profitable, making money, losing money. Our customer is going to contact you. Uh, and all of that. I, you know, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty well by God's grace. So I did take a few of my own customers. Well, I say my own as if, as if, uh, the people that hire my company are not my own customers. They are. Um, but I mean, like, you know, the people that... I don't want y'all to see. I don't know. This is a better view. It's not so distracting in the background. My phone is still ringing with regular day-to-day -day customers. Like, people calling me, hey, are you available to notarize this document? Hey, can you come out? Or, hey, can you hop on for a quick... Um, a quick uh, notarization online so I'm still getting those calls so th that's pretty exciting it's still I still have pretty much the same uh, workflow and the same type of um, the same amount of income whether I had um, the company you know my contract or not so I'm still doing good wash my hands real quick I want to make a sandwich because I'm starving like I had that little little egg white and it was good and it held me for the morning but then I packed a little snack and Maria ended up eating it <laughs> um, sandwich supplies we went to the supermarket yesterday and got some loose rolls. So I'm just gonna make a little a little sandwich. Turkey and cheese on a roll. <laughs> and I'm gonna take a little break. Uh, Cause I was out all morning. It was an easy morning, y'all. And did I say that I was nervous? I was nervous going into the meeting. Um, because I didn't know if I was still meeting expectations they don't they're not the type of people that give you uh feedback or you know they kind of let you just work and you know they don't say if they're disappointed or something if you miss out on something they're, they're the type to be like okay so what's the solution that so that's that's the type of people they are they are the what's the solution type of people so i can appreciate that Um, so, I, you know, I was nervous going in because I, 
I really was cranking out um, productivity last week because I allowed myself to get behind. And so I was worried that, you know, there will be something that pops up that I wouldn't be able to answer to. But luckily, um, I kind of was able to catch up, stay on top of what needed to get done. I still have to do some tenant outreach to find out you know if these people are planning to stay in their apartments or what but um nonetheless everything or anything they needed to check out as far as what i am responsible for was good um anything they needed to check out as far as my sister was concerned she was good but she's always good and it's such a wonder it's so wonderful to watch her work um just seeing how she types, seeing how she keeps track of who needs to do what, entering activities and emails for us to keep a track of. She really is a true office manager. So shout out to little Maria for being that girl. She keeps, she really keeps the business and the both businesses <laughs> with that regard on track. So I, I'm grateful to her for that. And she kind of gave me a heads up. She was like, Jen, you need to be prepared for the upcoming meeting. So, you know, she kind of gave me a heads up to be prepared, have all my ducks in a row, be able to answer to any questions that, I, you know, the boss me. Um, whatever. I talked for 10 minutes. <laughs> I don't know why I have to tell you guys how long I've been talking. So anyway, here's the sandwich. <laughs> Nothing fancy, just a plain little turkey sandwich. And we got a Coke Zero to wash it down with. And I'm gonna sit and take a little break, decide if I'm going to the gym. I, I definitely want to. Um, but my energy after 12 be like, but I, you know, I told myself after I did my vision board that I would, um, I would do it, you know, be more consistent and show up. I read my books this morning. Well, one, I read the, um, <coughs> I started reading the, uh, the, what do you call it? Woman Evolve. This one, I took the little graphic cover off because I don't know. I just, certain things I like to keep private when I'm reading, especially if I'm reading in public. Uh, I don't know why I'm funny that way a little bit. So yeah, I'm about to take a little break. I finished watching my show, so I have nothing to watch, which is a good thing because I have been unproductive because I'm too busy watching TV and I need to stop. So yeah, that has been Monday morning for me <laughs> y'all I'm out of breath I'm back lunch is done it is 250 but look y'all <laughs> space is free I put my treadmill up on Facebook because I don't use it I go um to the gym so, so I, I put it up there this morning at 7 a.m. and two people contacted me I let them know that uh, whoever comes to get it first is there, completely free. They came, some woman and her husband came and got it, and that's all she wrote. Let me see if they still outside. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, there they go. Right there. I'm so excited she was so happy to get it for free they got it loaded up in their van and that is it completely free she was like thank you her husband was like thank you so hopefully it does them a world of good <laughs> and I'm so excited that that area is now clutter free I have not made a decision about the gym this is the BS I'm talking about like I just I want to bum I really do <sighs> but anyway let me let me go back to being a bum. Ah
Me about her mismatched shoes. Let's see the shoes. <laughs> She's been doing that lately. She likes to have the same shoes in multiple colors, and my husband, of course, obliges. So she'll from time to time wear one in one color, one in the other color. Where's my lip gloss? Huh? Lips are chat. So yeah, we're headed out early Tuesday morning. What time is it? Like seven, seven o five? Seven o six. Seven o six. Usually we get out the house about seven o four. So she gotta go to school, and I have to go to boot camp. And boot camp. Yeah. You didn't tell me that. I am. I booked a class at Barry's boot camp. So you have to be out in the field? Mm -mm. Oh. They call it that. It's just like a intense, intense workout. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday, I didn't come back on camera. I pretty much worked out a little bit in the living room. Then showered, went and got her supermarket. And then... Went to lay down and did some planner stuff in bed to prepare myself mentally for the day. It's so strange. Daddy is hearing me record. Wait, he's <laughs> Yeah. My husband's in my ear, y'all. Uh, well, at least it's not as cold this morning. Yeah. Yesterday was cold. And then let us go outside for recess. So I'll probably let you go out today.
y'all that was such a good class way better than solid core uh much more intense than cycling uh like soul cycle cycle bar although i love those and i'll probably do that next but when i tell you it's a mix of cardio it's a mix of um i guess like it's cardio and it's weightlifting. I got a couple of clips of me in the classes, but oh man, it was such a good freaking class. So I was gonna try to catch like a, a cute little lunch, but I don't feel like it. I'm tired. I'm ready to be back home because I did get out here an hour early. So I stopped in Starbucks to, um, to work and so i you know i had a, a chai and i worked a little bit because i did have some deadlines to meet today uh for my own <laughs> for my own meeting so um i mean for my own business i had deadlines to meet for my own business so and now i did that work so i'm gonna head home because i don't feel like being outside anymore I'm tired. I have some editing to do, so I'll probably treat myself to a lunch and then uh, then sit at home and edit. I don't feel like being outside. Although I'm a little disappointed because there was a few cute cafes out here that I wanted to try. But I guess I'll, you know, do that later on this week. Maybe my husband will feel like going outside. Oh my God, but such a good class. I, nothing, <laughs> my workout at home had nothing on batteries and I loved it. Uh, you guys heard me talk about class pass um, before. So that's what I used to book this class with. That's what I used to book all my classes. train is coming. I need the A. Yeah, I use class pass to book all my classes. It's well worth it. Uh, you pay, right now I pay $50, uh, $50 uh, a month and that covers um, Pretty much that's like two classes a month. They are $50 a month gets me 23 credits, which um, $23. 23 credits. This class I took took um cost 14 credits. So that means I only have I think nine credits left. I may need to buy more or credits for the month because I did like the batteries and maybe I'll up it to the $90 a month. I don't know. But <laughs> well worth it. I'm about to head home though. I hope, I hope the audio is okay. I should have put my mic on. Okay. Hey gang. I'm home finally. It is. What's happening today? 12 oh it's only 12 18. i'm tired that trip took a whole lot out of me <laughs> probably because i did the um the class but i am plum tired so i'm gonna take a break tired y'all but I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be summertime fine. You hear me? <laughs> I'm trying to do everything I can to be as happy as I was last summer with my body. Uh, it's going to take a lot of work, but let's see. I'm trying to show y'all. I'm trying to trim this area. 
waistline not doing bad, but it most certainly can be better. So yeah, uh, why are we? All right, yeah, so I stopped to get myself something, something to eat, uh, cause I'm hungry. I got some chicken teriyaki. Let me get a beverage. Oh, man. Yeah, I got some chicken teriyaki and some little shrimp dumplings. And of course, beverage of choice is a Coke Zero because I had enough water, but I will drink some more so I can hydrate after that little class because I just sweat not as much as I thought I was going to, but um, I did sweat and I was so surprised and so happy, so happy that I was able to keep up with the instructor and with the class itself but there were some other people in there guys girls everybody was doing anything you hear me they were they were pushing and I told my sister Maxie about it so hopefully um hopefully we can get a class in hopefully she and I can get a class in together uh, if you have a Barry's near you, try it. It is a lot of food. <laughs> I ain't going to eat all this, but I, I will get through quite a bit of it. So this is the chicken teriyaki. I can't wait. It smells divine. And then these are the shrimp dumplings. So I'm about to eat, watch a little show. I'll probably take a nap too. I'm not even gonna lie. I've been up since uh, four o'clock this morning. Um, yeah, I know I take Jackie to school. I help my husband out with his um, his morning. He gave me a little break today, said he'll buy breakfast. So I didn't have to cook this morning. Howdy gang, it's Thursday, January 25th. <laughs> we outside yet again. I have no work to do. Yesterday was Wednesday. I didn't record yesterday because all I did was work. And you guys see me work. Not like you'll never see me work again. I just didn't put the camera on. I uh, went to the gym. And I'm very sore from Barry's boot camp. I don't even think I came on and discussed how good this class was. If I did, obviously this is crap. But... I plan to do another Barry's class on Monday. I am excited about incorporating that into the mix. Let me throw this in the garbage. We have all this garbage, all this garbage in the car. <laughs> because we live in this car, man. Um, we be getting coffee, energy drinks, all the all the things, and there's a garbage here on the corner. My husband's in the deli right here, getting us some breakfast because we're about to head to the outlets to go see what they got. Jackie needs some clothes. So while she's in school, she said she just wants some sweatpants and uh, things like that. So um, we got to head out there and plus I want to see what they got for me. So my husband, he's right there. That's our favorite deli to get breakfast sandwiches, stuff like that. But anyway, berries. I, you know, my brain, I, I'm scatterbrained for real, y'all. Uh, <laughs> so, Barry's, I'm going to take another class Monday. They actually had a deal. So, that class I went to was my first class. So, they sent me an email. They had a three-pack for $53. So, I'm going to book with them directly instead of going through class pass. <laughs> because the, um, the classes ends up being three for 50 What is that like? not $20 a piece it's like 17 bucks a piece where through class pass 
the classes are like $22. So I save a couple bucks and plus I get a free um, a free protein shake. I'm going to close my window because the train is coming. I get a free protein shake at the end of my third class. So I'm excited about that. And yesterday I went to the gym. I did upper body. It was great. I didn't record because... I don't know. I just didn't record yesterday. I just, I was out and living life without the camera. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, nothing going on. I don't have any work. I mean, I do have work to do, but I'm not working today. I want the day off just to shop, hang out with my husband and not stress. And then tomorrow will be a work day. And that is that. That's what's going on. So busy week, busy mom things. <laughs> Uh, and I'm so glad to be back on task. So glad. Y'all don't know how much of a difference it made for me doing that vision board. Like, I, I was legitimately at a standstill um, for the beginning of the year. And I prepared. I, w I prepared for it. And I just gave nothing. So, <laughs> I'm glad to be back on task. I'm glad to to be feeling good and then I don't know it must be because last week was uh Aunt Flo's time to visit the emotional and even the week beforehand I, I I'm telling y'all I just I strike these yeah when it's that time even the week before I get extreme but extremely bad PMS so I get moody I get uh yeah, very moody. I don't want to do things. I don't want to be productive. And then the week uh, it comes, I'm just like alive, awake, and can do things. Um, and then the two weeks after, I just be in the in the game, and then then I go back dark. So yeah, I guess that's what I was facing for the beginning of the year. Oh, you do the But I think I think I'm gonna keep looking. But we're in Nike and the Nike outlet, so I gotta see. But there, those are forty dollars for some nice, easy running shoes. See nothing in Nike.
for work shoes. One is like this. These are nice. Yeah, I don't know how much of these. 89. Let's see. My foot hurts so bad. <laughs> They're so sore. Oh, they're good though. <laughs> Don't mind the sock. I don't know, they're cute. Then they seem comfortable but I want like a higher heel and then they also have these Cole Han, the driver um, loafer I just need some work shoes or some shoes that are not sneakers There's a little bear in here. Howdy gang, it is the next day, it's Friday. So yesterday you saw a snippet of me at the outlets trying on some shoes. I picked up a couple things, so let's let's talk about what we got. They had some deals out there, y'all. So I didn't buy too, well, <laughs> I didn't buy too much, I guess, in my opinion. I bought the things I needed. So the things I really needed to go out there for was some shoes for work. Um, I was in the market to buy some things like some shoes for you know casual casual shoes that I could go to work or you know throw like a quick outfit on that's casual not um that's casual not heels and all that but not sneakers so let's see what I got so we will discuss let's see and I, what else I needed I needed some gym shoes so the first thing I got was for the gym I showed you guys I tried on some Nikes and I love the way they feel but I wasn't sure about them I ended I ended up picking them up the $30 sneakers I love the way they feel um, but I, I wanted to see what the other stores had because Nike was the first stop then we went to Adidas they didn't have nothing where else did we go I didn't go into the sporting goods store went to Puma I got some shoes from there I'm gonna show you but that's not for the gym um anyway let's get into it. so these are the sneakers i got these are very comfortable i got them a half size bigger i got them in a size eight and a half and these are the nike roshi one they were on sale for thirty dollars so here's my receipt is this mine yeah they were on sale for $39.99 and then they had an additional, we had an additional $4 coupon because my husband's a Nike member. So he had a 10% off. So I got them for $35.99. Now 
nice and easy they feel very firm at the heel which i like i don't like a squishy heel when i run or a bouncy heel i like to you know hit the hit the floor but you know with some some support and then they felt good when i went to try to you know dig anyway they have support and i tried them out like digging my the ball of my feet in because when i was in barry's um boot camp we had to do like the the planks and my feet kind of tend to slide out of my shoe so this like a tie real tight and it will hold my feet so excited about these 35.99 let's see seeing that we're in nike i'll just do the nike i also got let's see some leggings these are the, just the classic gray legging and it has the Nike, the little Nike symbol on the, like the calf muscle. I got them in gray. I love these leggings for like going out running errands or, you know, hanging out at the mall, that kind of thing where you want to look cute, um, but kind of like you're, you know, you're here to run errands, not like you're... <laughs> <laughs> and oh you know just came from the gym these are not good gym leggings i sweat a lot they show sweat so i do not wear this for any activity that requires sweating i also got them in the black which are my favorites uh these were regular i forgot what is the regular price on these the regular price they cover the regular price i think it was cheaper it's 39.99 then with a five dollar thirty nine ninety nine, then they were on sale for thirty four ninety nine, and then an additional three dollars off, so they were thirty dollars a piece. Um, for Nike, that's a deal. I usually get uh, some from Forever Twenty One for like three bucks, but those are like my in house. I used to wear them outside, and then um, you know, but these are these are like throwaway leggings. They're they're good for like. I would say eight months and then after that the thigh starts going. I guess they last longer if you're skinny, but for my size, they're throwaways. But I, I like them. I like the way they fit. I like the fabric. They are not the ones that get linty and they're good quality. So I got those. That was Nike. Let's see. Puma. I didn't get too much, y'all. I kind of was under control because I did shop with a budget. I think my budget was for me my husband and jackie all together was like three hundred dollars he we got some stuff for jackie but i'm not showing her stuff this is my video this is my vlog if you want to show her stuff get your own vlog okay <laughs> so i got these cute sneakers from puma <laughs> so i got these from puma these are so cute on the feet i love the big sole uh they're so nice I don't care for the front. It had it has that pointy kind of style. I like my sneakers to look more rounded, but I just I've been in love with the big soles lately. I got these and I also picked up another pair of Pumas, the Rihanna, um, the Fenty, the blues. I'll show you guys in another vlog those sneakers I got. So these were um these are called the What are they called? Oh, the Carmen I Am The Drama. Carmen I Am The Drama. A sneaker. So I got these in a seven and a half Puma. I wear a half size smaller because it, I don't know, the shoe feels very long to me. When I tried on the eight, when I walked, my foot was slipping up out the back. I put on the seven and a half and it fit better. However, the sole on these are really thick. So I will be taking the insoles out. Like, look how thick the insole is. I mean, it's good, I guess, if you're walking in it. But the shoe feels comfortable enough for me without the insole. So, I will be taking them out. It will um, give me some, a little bit with room. A little more with room. With. <laughs> um, and then I have the a comfortable length. So, yeah, these were, I think these were $60. No, the the white ones were 60 These were 50 so I got a deal on those. This was at the Puma outlet. 
By the way, I want to Tanger Outlets in Deer Park. I love that Tanger. That, that's my favorite one. The other one I like is the one in Atlantic City. Uh, and I think I've been to the Tanger in Riverhead, but I don't really care for that one. Riverhead, Long Island. <clears throat> then I also got some jeans from American Eagle. I was in the market for some jeans. I got some basic some basic black ones um the jegging these are the next level stretch really good stretch on these jeans um yeah the next level stretch jegging and onyx black regular price regular price is 39.99 um and i shop at american eagle a lot so i always have coupons and they were having a buy one get one half off sale I also picked up the same jeans in the uh, stone wash denim. I think this is stone. Right? What color is this? It doesn't tell me the color. Oh, dark dreams. But the also in the jegging size 14. So nice. Uh, I'm not a try on haul kind of girl. <laughs> so I got those. Then, what else was at the outlet? Oh, so the price. So at American Eagle, my price, my total came to $47. So the jeans were $39.95 each. It was buy one, get one half off. So it was, they ended up being $22 a piece after, after the buy one, get one half off sale. And I did have a $15 off coupon, so... Yeah, $47.99 at American Eagle. I gotta scan all my receipts in the Tanger app. If you don't know, if you become a Tanger member, you get the membership. I think it was $10 for a lifetime membership. And um, you earn points to become whatever status. <clears throat> I am platinum status, but that's only because... And I only go like three times a year or maybe sometimes twice a year. I think last year we only went once. Um, but if you spend, I guess, $200 in your trip or something like that, it, you earn points, you earn coupons, you earn gifts. So, yeah. This purchase <laughs> was my favorite one. I mean, I wasn't crazy about it when I got it because I was in the market for a, a black purse because all my purses are brown. So I went into the Michael Kors outlet, y'all. Stuff off. This is the bag, y'all. Oh, it's so cute. I have it in brown. So nice. Nice size for, you know, just running your errands, going out. This is the size bag I wear when I go drop Jackie off and I have to go, you know, like to the supermarket afterwards or, you know, whatever, or run to like Trader Joe's or, you know, little errands that I do throughout the day. This is a nice size bag to have on. It's not too big. Um, <clears throat> it's not too small so you can fit like a bottle of water, your wallet, um, your keys, all the things. And I also wear this, these bags because I have another one. What is this, cardboard? <laughs> I also wear this bag. All right, so I also wear this bag when I go on my notary jobs. It fits my wallet, my keys, my notary stamp, my embosser. This is my favorite bag. And I got it because I liked the strap. I think it's because of this strap. Ah! <laughs> it's just this nice sporty strap that says Michael Kors on it. I love it. And I want it, and what sucks is that I have this exact bag in brown, only it has the MK monogram all over it. And I love it. I just, I love this bag. And it's so easy to carry, so simple. It, you know, hangs at the perfect length at the hip. If you want to do a crossbody, it's perfect that way too. It's, it's my favorite. And I love Michael Kors bags. Like, the, he is my favorite designer when it comes to bags. Their quality, they look good. They last. Um, they don't, you know, tear apart when it comes to like dealing with inclement weather. It's just a really, a really good bag. And you can't beat the prices either. 
So this is it. So cute. Looks so nice. Let's get a look at it on. Try to move y'all out. And please excuse. I'm in my gym clothes. Because <laughs> I have to go to the gym. Ugh. I have to go to the gym later this morning. So I don't know. I'm going to just take y'all to the mirror. So this is the bag on. Just a nice, just a nice simple, simple black bag for when you're stepping out. Here it is as a crossbody. Looks good. All right, I'm sorry, I had to change the battery. Here's another look at the bag. Nice and cute. It has this gold emblem so you can adjust adjust the length this is a terrible how-to video terrible but I feel like I want to make it a little longer so that way when it is a cross body it falls you know I don't know, it falls proper like that. A little lower. Nice for if you're having a bloaty day and you just want to use the bag to hide the pooch. <laughs> you don't need to see that side. But yeah, this is the bag. So nice. I wonder if it can fit my my iPad. Oh, it's sitting right here. <laughs> see, that's the thing. Like, that's the only thing. I need a bag. Oh, uh, well, that doesn't look crazy. I need a bag where I could have access to my iPad. Like I've been wanting, I've been wanting to carry my iPad with me because it is my planner. Um, but I I don't have a purse that fits it. It doesn't even fit into my my Louis Vuitton Speedy. So yeah, but this will do. It's a it's such a cute bag. I didn't spend five minutes on a bag. So this bag was regular price. $448. I picked it up for $89.99. Okay. <laughs> Cute. Nice price. Nice size. Lovely bag. Um, and it's leather. It's that nice pebble leather. Such a good feeling bag. I love the strap. It gives it that sporty, that sporty element. And um just nice really nice stylish bag i love a basic black bag i had the one from zara that i was carrying for years i think my husband got that for me christmas of 2020 or well, 2021 i finally threw it out that bag was tore up so um because it's my favorite like when it comes to just you know having a bag that matches black is is it all the way and the last things I got, this wasn't from the outlet. Uh, I, I actually went shopping. I was, I told my husband I would take him shopping, but he's picky. He likes the goose eggs. He likes the things you can't find. So he didn't really see anything that piqued his interest. So I did go to Macy's for my work shoes. That was the original thought process was to go to the outlets to find some work shoes. So I went to Macy's and I picked up, up I picked up these babies from Macy's. This is by Dolce Vita. These are called what are these called? Oh no, I ripped the receipt. Impulse? I don't know what these are called. It doesn't have the style information on it. But it's in a natural color. These are just some basic, I don't know what style of shoes is. Is it a loafer? Loafers. Nice uh, style. They feel very comfortable on. They have a nice width to it. Very sturdy. The back does not scrape the back of your heel. I love them. I got it in this color which is like a neutral color nice for spring nice also when transitioning from like in that september october heading into fall this will be nice with a trench really good shoe so i got it in that color 
and I also got it in the black color. This is the color I did try on in the store. It's so nice. Let me take the thing off. Silver hardware. So this will, I mean, I don't care about mixing metals, but this, what? What? Tell me you're not going to work in a cafe. Okay? Tell me you are not tired of working in your home office. And you just want to step out and look like you're going to work, but you're actually just going to take your laptop to a cafe and pretend to work. Come on. Ain't, ain't nothing better. <laughs> and it has this nice brown edge, so you can wear it with a brown bag. I, I love it. <clears throat> How much were these? I think they were $60 a piece. Yeah, $60 each. These were 70. I don't know why. You would think the black would be 70, but yeah, that was it. That is the my little shopping haul from the outlet and the mall. Just a couple things I think I spent I think I spent somewhere around $300. I don't know. But yeah, that's it. That's all for Friday and the vlog. Today I'm going to end it here. I'm going to continue recording as usual. Um, yeah, the only thing I have left to do today is the gym. And Jackie has to go to the doctor. Nothing to see there. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. I just take it day by day.